Uganda is home to such remarkable beauty. But if we don't protect it, sadly one day our home could be like this. Silent, empty, and lifeless. And I think that's why, since I was a child, I have always dreamt of visiting the source of life of my land. The commitment of taking care of your people and planet presents a challenge. A challenge that leads you into the unknown, where all the answers that you dreamt of are hidden. Exploring untouched paradises, where the mysteries of nature peer at you from the heart of the forest. All of them connected by the water that flows downstream from the peak of the kingdom. A place where the purity of the air drives you to keep climbing upward. Walking through ecosystems seemingly from another world where you can lose yourself among wildflowers of indescribable beauty, shrouded by the mist of the mountains of the moon. Clouds that never stop dancing over sleeping giants mired in an eternal rest that only can be broken by those who are brave enough.
though this is a challenge that no one can face alone. You need the help of those who call this land their own. United by the wind, rain, and snow of the mountains. We have uh, our captain, our commander here is fasting. Says uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> My new family, who I share this journey with. Uh -huh. Then until the end here. <laughs> Paths of nature are always uncertain. In the past, my people could predict the weather. But now the rules of nature have been rewritten. And I can feel deeply how this mountain is suffering. Because you judged very well last night mm. concerning the weather. And two groups failed mm. and yes. they came back down. Yes. Now for us here who are moving in the night, are facing something like a similar weather like last night. Mm -hmm. How how confident are you that we can manage to beat this weather? Most of the challenges that we are going to, to face tomorrow is uh, the sleeper rocks, especially at night. Uh, challenge number two will be getting to the glaciers. Because last night we had uh, heavy snowfalls, so we expect at least uh, the snow to have gone up to like uh, uh, 20 to 30 inches. Uh, Enoch, I think what concerns me with, uh, with the rocks, uh, them being slippery and wet, is obviously falling. Don't give up. That is part of the exercise. Just take it easy, but keep focusing on where you want to, to reach tomorrow. If it keeps like this, for sure we shall make it tomorrow. However, it will be tough, but we shall make it. We started from down. We battled all the mud. We struggle on the slippery rocks. We walk all the boulders. Why not step in this glacier? Yeah. Let's get ready and we got there. Yeah. So you get out of our game. The king said it was. <laughs> it's in this moment when we have decided to make a difference. One minute. That I face my greatest test, learn my greatest lesson, and place my trust within this great mountain. This is not easy. Begging it to show me the treasure that is hidden beyond its clouds. Yeah, the rocks is a little bit slippery, it's icy. Wait, wait. Just come to the right, come along the valley.
The first light of the morning sun reveals this landscape before us, letting me encounter a true giant, lamenting the loss of its glaciers, allowing me to stand aloft and see its truths in plain sight. before I face the last challenge of my journey. And this is how a giant has let me make real the dream of my life, letting me reach its life source to show all our people where upon our lives depend and how our actions must unfold, to show them the beauty of our land, a treasure that we must all protect before it's lost forever. <laughs>